Welcome back to this DC Universe Online. Let's play your Sambo and Blaze Purple. And as you can see, we're in what's quickly becoming my favorite city to quest in Gotham City. Nice and dark and dingy. Look at that. What an amazing scene that is. Never gets old. Anyhow, I thought today we would just do some basic questing. Um, take a look at what's going on. I, for once, actually have all my powers and skill points spent, uh, which is unusual for me. So currently we're rocking immolation. Uh, I've still got a couple to, to get in there, actually. Um, we've got ourselves a couple of iconic powers. I've got my heat vision, which you've seen me use plenty of times. Uh, word of power, which is the lightning heal, self-heal. Um, over on the skill side of things, I'm rapidly getting to uh, the bottom of the hand blaster tree. In fact, you'll see all I've got left are a bunch of innates or passives, as we as we like to probably call them. Uh, and I'm not sure I want to put points into there. You know what? Sooner or later, I'm going to have to head to the watchtower and uh, do some respecking because, as I'm sure you're aware, there are a few points in here which I'm not so happy that I've uh, invested in such as some of these flight ones which don't seem to do a whole lot although of course that could be me not understanding how they work correctly but um, you know once I hit level 30 which is not far away now I will definitely be heading to the watchtower to do that respec hang on sounds to me like the sound is a bit off come on I thought we'd sorted out the sound there we go <clears throat> Um, and let's have a look in the on duty menu. I think not much has changed since the last time we checked. Still got, still, you know what? Still actually waiting to get into some of these uh, arenas here, like Australia and the Moon. Haven't actually managed to get a Q pop for either of those yet. Uh, we certainly haven't been through Bloodhaven. Uh, we haven't been through Gorilla Island or Oolong Island either. So. Hopefully one day they will pop. And of course, uh, still trying to rack up some points so we can buy some more characters here to get into the legendary PvP. And of course, just to overview what this is all about uh, and how it relates to other PvP, arena PvP is standard. It's it's you taking your character into an arena with your own abilities at your own level, uh, and it's really based on you know your particular character so that's you know one style of PvP which is which is probably most familiar to, to most players of MMOs however the great thing about DC Online and what I think a lot of people don't understand about this legend side of PvP is it means that you can go into a fight uh, sort of on an even keel so for example you know if you're Robin then you have obviously a set amount of abilities with a set amount of hit points. If a player on the other team is also Robin, then they will have exactly the same setup as you. What does that mean? It means that the game effectively comes down to skill. You've both got the same tools. Uh, it comes down to your ability to counter and uh, you know be tactical in the fight. So you know I really like it. It means that there's a choice. We can you know play with these pre-made characters and really rely upon our own combat skill, or we can go in here and actually go to town with a distinct advantage or not. You know playing on your own character. So you know I really do like the PvP, and that says nothing for the open world PvP if you're on a PvP server. Then of course um, you know you've got your raids and duos. Now we haven't had a chance to have a look at those because of course I'm not level 30 so we will get to them one thing we must do in fact look let's do that now every day you must do the vault I'm guilty of not doing the vault every day so we'll remedy that right now um, I keep hearing stories of people picking up all sorts of incredible gear out of here um, I've got some some funny stuff I haven't got anything mind-blowing yet Although I must say, I did in the beta. Um, I got a couple of neat little toys. Oh, in fact, look at that. We've got some kind of bat item there, which we'll have a look at the end. Some green drop then. But yet, can't stress enough uh, that you should be doing this every single day. I mean, it's basically free loots, free money. I mean, oh, it's not exactly bucket loads of money, but 
you know there's a chance of getting a bunch of unique stuff that is only available in the vault that you can't get anywhere else in the game so make sure it's part of your daily habit and as I said I'm talking as much to myself when I say that because I've been very slack and haven't, haven't been coming in here every day So we're going to hear from the Joker now. That's it. Game's over. Step along, step along. Nothing to see. Get going before my good. That's right. Thank you, Mr. Joker. All right, let's have a look what we picked up. We picked up some green item there. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> I must have been flying. Yes, I was, wasn't I, when we joined? Okay, what was it? It was this, Spore Killer's Shoulder Plates. Oh, it's a star that I've already collected. The vaults are great uh, for pick. Oh no, wait a minute, there it is. Gorilla Omen Back Guard. La, 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 la. All right. Biomech. Well, that's something new. I'm going to go in and have a look at that. I'm going to assume it was a back piece. Biomech, there it is. Oh, oh. Right, that's pretty creepy. Actually, it's interesting because I think I've been setting my gear to, uh, well, where I've got it, to Biomech anyway. Um, except the chest, apparently. Let's have a look. Biomech. Oh, right, that was the meringues. <laughs> yeah, no, we've done the meringues. We want to try something else now. We'll have that one. So as always, it's great fun and you're not limited at all. Um, you can you know, go in and actually change the colours at any stage. Now oh, look, there's a quest. How fortuitous. What? Oh, hey, good thing you showed up. Despite your wacky looking clothes. You think you can take out those vans those clowns are pouring out of? I'm only one normal cop, so your help here would be swell. What do you mean, wacky looking clothes? I have no idea what you're talking about. Anyway. Alright, looks like we've got a bit of work to do here. Destroy the Joker vans, Joker clowns, and rescue some victims. Now, I think, I, as you can probably see, I've already started on a couple of these. I was actually having to be very careful because these guys are no pushover. Now, what I was learning to do is if I can get my ability right, and it's not that one. Okay, lag is playing with me here. What I discovered last night when I was playing is that when you're up against two players, uh, we'll just rescue rescue the civilian. The and by the way, clowns. That's right. I need a drink. Ugh. Yeah, I hear you, buddy. Super hot here tonight. Um, what I've discovered. Oh, now that was funny. I don't know if you saw that. If you're watching YouTube, rewind at that point and uh, watch <laughs> watch that mob. Um, drag himself across the ground. That was pretty funny. Anyhow, what I'm trying to say is when you've got uh, multiple mobs like this, use an ability that knocks one back and knocks one out and get them out of the way and then melee the other one. So, for example, let's close in on here. We'll use a knockback ability on him and then concentrate on this one. Except I'm not doing very well because my, my lag's a bit nasty. The idea is to kind of split them up, anyhow. Uh, yeah. You know, I almost had him before he threw the gas grenade at me. Yeah. No, really. I... Never mind. Thanks. Oh, and there it goes again. Now, <laughs> I don't know whether that's lag-related, but it's pretty no. fun. No, that's what I was after. My uppercut, which knocks them back. Hey, don't lock on there. So I'm going to hit tab to lock onto you. Look who joined the party. Yeah, I've accidentally, there we go, locked onto the wrong one. Knock him out of the way. Come and give him a bit of a bippo. 
That's my healing blast there. And we survived. Uh, yeah. You know, I almost had him before you threw the gas grenade at me. No, really, I... Never mind. Thanks. And, of course, we've got to destroy the vans. Give you a bit of a lightning... Fire lightning lashing. Freaky clowns. That's right, they're freaky, all right. Oh, I could have sworn there was a van over here before. Oh, there's one. <laughs> now, also, don't forget when you're fighting that you want to be keeping an eye on the you look at my character portrait it's the red line at the very bottom there that's building up that is my super power or super weapon those freaky clowns um, and some abilities like if you look at my hotbar right at the moment you'll see the last ability before my consumable there so number six is there's a there's an outer ring that's slowly building up and that uh, lines up with the bar at the bottom of my portrait in the top left so as I kill and gain XP that have to be clowns. that away. that bar will build up and it's only then that I'll be able to use that particular ability so it's really the equivalent of blowing a cooldown ability in WoW if you're familiar uh, yeah. with those terms you know I almost had him before he threw the gas grenade at me no really I never mind thanks but in this case it's definitely worthwhile I, I'm not sure if you've, if you've been following my other videos you'll remember the volcanic calamity which is what my super ability is we'll, we'll try and build up enough superpower energy here for me to be able to fire that off at some point that's right that's me super tights and I'm keeping you at bay as well right, I think we'll use this freeze barrel here look at that and of course because it's a physics based game we can take this and say hasta la vista baby one way of getting rid of them those freaky clowns see you later I, need a drink. I love that knock down there all right so we've got to find two more vans right vans we want where are the vans no we don't apparently. Well, it disappeared off my quest track, but I'm pretty sure we still need two. That tickles alright. Alright, on the lookout for some vans. There's one. getting a bit dicey oh you know what I hit my consume in fact look at you can see it there it's on cooldown oh just bad timing I guess never mind such things happen 
Actually, you know, this is another thing. I would like to know, because I don't, what this is. Whenever I respawn, I end up at this console and I use it, and nothing happens. So, yeah, not sure what that is entirely. If anyone knows, you're welcome to let us know in the uh, in the comments. Yes, Oop, got you grounded. And we're going to die again. Come on. Oh no, I thought I was off cooldown. Oh, no, oh, yikes. They, you know what? They hit really hard. What level are they? They're only 21. Ah, well. Alright, let's hit back and see if we can actually do this without dying. <laughs> Gotham, oh, and look at that, there's the bat signal. Gotham is indeed a grim, grim and tough city, especially when you're me. Now, I'm pretty sure I still need some vans, yeah, so let's activate that one, and hopefully our quest marker will point us in the right direction. Okay, so I guess the respawn point actually took us a fair way away from the questing zone. That's okay. It's always a pleasure roaming around Gotham. No bones to pick with that. Time for an inferno! A good bit of lasering never hurt anybody. Oh, I'm really taking a beating here. I need to get the heck out of dodge. Yikes! Yeah. Probably still came in too early. A bit of luck. Oh! <laughs> Alright, this must be some kind of new record. Three deaths in one episode. Oh yes, I'm good. We are going to finish off this quest before the episode finishes or bust. I certainly hope you guys have uh, more skills and or more luck than I do. Two more vans to go as we clean up the streets of Gotham. And there's my favourite epic Gotham City Batman music. Love it. Alright, we're looking for... Looking for a van. Someone help. There it is, hidden behind the hot dog truck. Right, actually, it's time for superpower. There it is. Look at that. It's a volcanic eruption. And it saved our ass. That's one way to do it. 
and in fact it collected a van as well. Volcano for the win. You, you can't ask for more than that really can you? It's absolutely <laughs> worth building up all those superpower points in order to be able to pull that one off folks. Great stuff. Oh, I've run out of sodas. Oh dear. Got to fix that. All right. There we go. Six to go, please. That's interesting. The van disappeared. Come on, we just got one van to do and we're clear. You're gonna die. Actually, you know what? I'm going to pick up that ice. Oh no, he's picked it up. Oh no! Break out, break out. There we go. So just as we were doing it to them, they can do it to us, which is only fair, of course. Where is a van? Uh, there's a van. No. That was bizarre. How rude! Throwing a rubbish bin. Yeah, certainly not easy battles here, I'll say that. Alright, finally we made it. Time to return to the Sarge. And fly straight into a building, of course. Alright, he better be grateful for all of that. What, four or five deaths? Not bad. Those vans blew up good, eh? Now beat it so I can call this in and take credit. Uh, I mean, file a report. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Alright. Rescinding the clowns. Very funny. Send in the clowns. And what do we get? A belt, which, oh, actually looks like it's a big upgrade. Lots of XP. Let's check out that belt. And indeed, that's much better than what we've currently got equipped so we'll take that thank you very much Mr. Copper just checking I haven't got any collections here that I've already that I haven't already collected no good stuff all right well um, hopefully next time we cross paths we'll be able to hop into one of these alerts that I'm really trying to get into because um, there's a lot of content there that I that is excellent content that you haven't seen and whilst questing around, or especially around Gotham City, is fun, um, what I really want to be doing is show you the content of the story instances and the, you know, uh, dungeon finder missions because they're certainly epic in scale and lots and lots of fun. So fingers crossed for that next time, uh, and I hope that you're having a great day. Until then, take care. Goodbye. <laughs>